Hello Anna, since we last met, I have a new wall. It's... it's not a new wall, it's just, um, a different wall. It's not like a wall that I have built that is now my backdrop. It's a new wall in the fact that it's new to these things, but it's not a new wall in the universe. You with me? Okay. Excuse my weird talking patterns, I'm a bit all over the place. I don't know why. I genuinely do not know why I am so all over the place. I've set up my camera, I'm ready to film, and I'm just like, standing here, and I'm just, what am I doing? You know? I'm in one of those, like, what am I doing moods. I'm like, not like an unhappy what am I doing mood, just like a, I'm shooketh if you will. So there's this story that I want to tell you, Anna, and I've been telling it to everyone. I told it at youth club, I told it at, uh, places. I told it everywhere. I've been telling everyone. I told my dad, told my brother, maybe told Misha, I don't know, I might have been saving it for this. I haven't told you yet, though, Anna. So, today, I will tell you about m this story that I love. Disclaimer, I've already told you this story once, but, um, I was on my way to DevCon, it's like a comic convention, here's my wristband for it, it's the one that actually looks like a wristband, not the bracelet, or the little bracelet that you got me, Anna, you got me this bracelet for crimblobs. I already filmed the telling of this story, but on my way to DevCon, I needed to take a bunch of pit photos, here's four of them. Using Georgia here for this brief aside, I'm fucking furious at like two days ago, me, why did you tell me to put four photos up? That's like... Five minutes extra editing work. Why would you do this to yourself, Georgia? I'm gonna do it anyway because I said it and it will be like a good thing, but just This is effort for future you that you don't cons I'm so mad. I want to go back in time and punch past me in the face Here 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 and here. There's four of them. I needed to take some photos So I was going through my camera deleting stuff It was a lot of footage from the carbs music video that I deleted and I was like, yes, I can delete this. This is all just video that I'm never going to use again. Deleted it all. Then, accidentally, I deleted the first half of this story that I told you. Because when you film for longer than 12 minutes, it splits it into 12 minute sections. So, my camera, I don't know, it's weird. My camera's weird. It's not weird, it's a good camera. It's just like, I don't understand why it does that. Why can't it just keep them as whole things? So I'm going to tell you the story for a second time, but for the first time that you will hear the story. I do love this story, by the way, so I'm completely fine with telling it again. I don't think that's why I'm all like, blah, I think I'm all like, blah, for some completely different reasons. Maybe it's because I'm filming in a different direction, like my window is there, which is the direction I normally film in, but instead I'm filming behind me, so I mean, Maybe. I'm filming behind me because I got this this chest of drawers here. Is that what it's called? A chest of drawers? Yeah, I'm filming behind me because I got this chest of drawers and I was like, ah, chest of drawers make a good backdrop because I can put stuff on the chest of drawers and then I won't have horrible backlighting for once. And then I can still put my stuff on the wall. We've got new additions. We've got um, Aquamarine. Got it from DevCon. Oh, I, this pearl is also new from DevCon. And also this drawing that you did for me, Anna, long ago, and the Beauty and the Beast thing that Misha did. This picture of Takumi might also be new. I love it. Here it is. It says, look at this pineapple. It hates parents and it drives to school bus. And Takumi is holding a pineapple because if you've ever looked at Takumi's face for more than five seconds, you will notice a strong resemblance to a pineapple. Forget about that orange. That orange is old news. Look at this pineapple. It hates its parents and it drives a school bus. If you cast your mind back to February of this year, we were all so young then. None of us knew what the challenges we would face in the coming months would be. We didn't face any challenges in the coming months. Me and you had like a tiff, Anna. We're not a tiff. We, uh, anyway, cast your mind back to February of this year. I leave my old school and I attend college. I start going to college. Now, college, huge place, way bigger than any school I've ever been to. I would say the previous two schools I've been to, like, a thousand people tops. This one has, like, ten thousand people in it. Uh, naturally, being the fact that there are, like, ten thousand people in this college that I go to, there are a lot more buildings than usual. And my main building is called the STEM block because it does science, technology, engineering, and maths. I do media. I don't know why I'm in the STEM block. I'm in the STEM block. That is the setup for this story. I'm incredibly nervous. It's my first week at college. I know nobody. I'm wandering the halls, wondering what to do with my life. I need to print something off. I need to print off 
the Pope My graphic design coursework. I need to print it off in poster format. I don't know why it needs to be in poster format. I don't know why my teacher can't just look at it on a monitor. But apparently, she wants me to print it off as an A3 piece of paper because it's intended to be an A3 poster. So, I go here. This is the poster, by the way. I go to my computer. I'm like, okay, print. And then I select in the little drop-down menu. I'm like, yes, I would like to print this in A3. So, go to print the thing in A3. Print it off. Toodle on over to the printer. Prints it out. I'm like, yes, okay. We have printed it off. Success. Prints it off. In A4. I don't want an A4. That's too small. What? I want it in A3. A mistake has been made. So I toodle on over back to my computer. Check everything's right. Try and print it in A3 again. Again, prints in A4. So, reliable George. Everybody loves him. He uh, is like, maybe you should go over to the library and speak to someone there who handles all of the printers. I'm like, yes, reliable George. I will do exactly that. So I head on over to the library. Right, I'm incredibly nervous. I've never been to the library before. I didn't even know where it was. I needed to ask like at least three people for directions on my way to the library. It's in the same building. Like, I, it shouldn't be that hard. It sh I shouldn't have found it as hard to find the library as I did. But regardless, it was difficult to find the library. So I eventually find the library after like minutes of looking. So I walk up to the front desk of the library. There are three librarians there. Two of them are like middle-aged women and one of them is like a 20-year-old woman. And I walk up to the 20-year-old woman because I feel like less intimidated by people of my own age because they will likely understand that I'm incredibly nervous about talking to anyone new about anything when I'm completely new to this college experience. So, I walk on over to this 20-ish year old woman. Uh, she has red hair, she's wearing a full out boy t-shirt. She's quite clearly the one that I'm gonna have the most pleasant conversation with. None of the conversations with middle-aged women wouldn't be pleasant, I'm just saying she's wearing a full out boy t-shirt, she's got dyed red hair, she's cool. I'm not cool, but cool people are usually up there in like who I want to talk to, you know, just in case. Walk up to her and I'm like, Hi, I need to print something. Can you help me, please? And she's like, ah, what block are you in? And I'm like, the STEM block. And she's like, ah. And I'm like, yeah, I do media. I don't know why I'm in STEM block. And she's like, ah, pff, makes no sense. They just name things. Um, we have a laugh. We're like, ha oh, ha they just name things. Um, and she's like, okay, so what do you need to print, young lady? Um, and I'm like, help, I need to print this thing in A3, I've already printed it in A4, and it's just, it's not working out for me. Why? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's, I, every time I try and print this one thing, it prints in A4. And she's like, ah, are you asking the printer to print it in A3? And I'm like, yes, I'm asking the printer to print it in A3. What do you think I am, a heathen? I didn't say this. And I was like, yeah, I did try to ask it to print it in A3, but apparently, mm, mm. She's like, okay, let's go to this computer. She takes me over to a computer. I like bip my card in. I got like a card that you bip into the computers to to sign in. You is that like NFC? Um, I bit myself into the computer, print it off, select A3. She takes me over to the printer. It prints in A4. She's like, ah, what the fuck is up with this shit? And she's like, and I'm like, ah, well, maybe we should get someone who manages the printers? And she's like, I do manage the printers. I manage all the printers for this stem block. They are my babies. Naturally, the next thing that I would say to that is, um, do you have names for them? She's like, no, of course I don't have fucking names for them. Who the fuck do you think I am? She doesn't say this, she just laughs. She's like, haha, no, I don't have names for them. Would you like to name this one? And I'm like, yes, I would fucking like to name this one. Its name is Harold. And then she like gives it a stroke and she's like, hello Harold, it's nice that you finally have a name. And I'm like, yeah, you should name your babies woman Jesus. Um, you shouldn't name your babies woman Jesus. You should name your babies, comma, woman, full stop, Jesus. So we somehow managed to successfully print the thing in A4. I'm like, ah, uh, in A3. So we somehow, at the end of that, successfully managed to print the thing in A3. So I'm like, aha. So I'm like, aha, thank you for helping me print this in A3, lady. I will now go on back to my class and present this to my tutor. And she and my tutor's like, aha, and I'm like, job done. I'm never gonna have to venture outside of this one class ever again. 
I was so naive. A couple weeks later, a couple months maybe, it's like March, maybe when are we now? May, this happened at like the start of May. So yeah, it's, it's like March-ish, I guess. No, I need to scan in the storyboards for my Carbs music video, because apparently that's something I need to do. I have no fucking clue how to scan something, because these are like, these aren't just like basic uh, home office printers. These are like the big ones, you know? The, the like tall, with like many shoots for different types of paper. And I'm like, I am completely lost on how I would possibly scan anything into this printer. I'm like, my friend, the printer mother, she can help me scan this. So I like, peedle on back to the, to the, um, to the library, and I'm like, hello again, and she's like, sorry, who are you? And I'm like, oh, I cut my hair, we made friends a couple weeks ago. Jeez, lady, you'd think I have a recognisable face, but apparently not, it's, it was just my hair, and now it's gone. She's like, okay, what do you need, you weird child? And I'm like, help, I need to scan these things in. She's like, oh, that's easy, and I'm like, Pfft. Don't flaunt your knowledge in front of me, I am a printer noob. I, I do not know how to use printers. I am a printer novice, don't don't flaunt the fact that it's easy at me. And she's like, oh, I don't, I, again, I didn't say any of this. All of this is hyperbole. We just have like a pleasant conversation about scanning this in. So I'm like, I need to scan this in, can you help me? And she's like, ah oh, yes. Let me just take you over to Harold. She didn't remember my name. She didn't remember who I was but she remembered that the printer was called Harold. This made me incredibly happy. And not just the fact that she remembered that the name was Harold, that in nonchalant conversation, when just talking about the printer, she was like, aha, this is Harold. Yes, I have successfully named something, and it is stuck. I hope this lady, she wasn't just treating me nice, and instead to, all, to everyone, she says, let me just take you over to Harold. Uh, and they're just like, what? So we scan it in, and I'm like, thank you for remembering that the name was Harold, by the way. That makes my soul incredibly happy. Flash forward to a couple weeks ago. What are we doing? Printing something, again, with printers. What am I printing? I need to print off my CV. I need to print off a copy of my curriculum vertae. So, I know how to print stuff at this point, but this is a nice chance to see my printer lady friend. So I'm gonna head over to the library and help get her help with printing it instead because So I go on over there and shock horror She's not there. It's just the two middle-aged women. Maybe she doesn't work on Thursdays. Who knows? It wasn't a Thursday I don't go to college on Thursdays. Maybe she doesn't work on whatever day I went in. Who knows? Oh, well at least while I'm here, I should probably print it on the library printers instead of the printer in my classroom. Because, for some, I don't know. I'm, well, I'm here. I've made the journey. I might as well make the journey for something. So I walk over to Harold. Uh, I press the little button to be like, yes, I would like to print this, please. What do I see next to the button? One of those little red name tag things that says, hello, my name is. Um, and it says, hello, my name is Harold. She's not there. She's stuck a thing on it that says, Hello, my name is Harold. Now everyone will know forever that that printer is called Harold. And who did that? It was me. It was me, bitches. If you ever go into City College and you see that one printer called Harold, who named that printer? It was me. Thank you for listening to my story. I named a printer. That's the title of this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in a while. Good Bob.